So you need to give a presentation in a Zoom meeting on your iPad, but haven't rehearsed it enough. Well, now you can use a built-in teleprompter app for Zoom while you're in a Zoom meeting. Better yet, this simple to use iPad app integrates perfectly into Zoom and allows you to position the scrolling script right next to the camera so that no one can tell you are using a teleprompter. It will seem like you're looking straight into the camera. It's called Prompt Plus. Let's take a look how we set up Prompt Plus and how to use a script in Zoom with a Zoom teleprompter on iPad. Now this app works in other situations other than with Zoom and you can use it to record vlog and YouTube videos on say your iPhone and iPad as well as on your Mac. And a bit later I'll give you the links on how to see those videos with using the app in those situations that I made. Let's get into it. So first search the App Store for Prompt Plus and install it. But before we open it up and tour it, I'll switch straight to Zoom first and start a new meeting here. And I might just mute the mic and turn off the camera so there's not too many things going on on the screen. We'll then take advantage of the iPad's multitasking feature. And if you don't have that enabled, go to Settings, Home Screen and Dock, then Allow Multiple Apps. Then go back to Zoom and slowly swipe up from the bottom of the screen and drag Prompt Plus over next to your camera, and that's to the left for me. Then you want to either import a script from a cloud service or create a new one and copy and paste, say, from Microsoft Word. Now, I made a video for the Mac version of this app where I show more about script preparation, and you can check that one out right here, so have a look at that. But for now, I'll open up a script that I prepared earlier. So here's the app in action and its controls. First, swiping up and down here will give you a preview of the whole script to make sure you've got it all there. Now you've got play and pause as well as a speed control slider, and you can change the scroll direction here if you need. Now I recommend you do a bit of trial and error with the app controls and settings to make sure you have the speed and position of the text right for your talking pace. Let's now go to the settings section. Now as I explained in the Mac version video, what you want to aim for here is to avoid people seeing your eyes moving left and right across the screen as you read your script in Zoom. To do that, first set text align to the left, then make the font size as small as is comfortable for you to read. Now you may need to scroll up to bring the text into view if it disappears down the bottom of the page like it has here. Next adjust the text area so that it's not too wide and set it so it's as close to the camera as possible. A bit of trial and error here. I find about 30 point font and 85 to 90% here works well for me on this iPad. To ensure that you keep eye contact with your Zoom audience, you want to make sure that you read the line of text as it comes up right next to the camera there. This again will take some more trial and error on the speed controls. Now let's change the script here and test it. And the beauty here is you can adjust the speed on the fly so that the line you're reading stays as close to the camera position as much as possible. Let's try it out now. Clicking the like button below tells the YouTube algorithm that you thought this video was helpful and that others can benefit from it too. Also, by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell, it helps me grow my channel and get more helpful videos to you. By the way, if you want to make your own software video tutorials, I've linked in the description below the eight pieces of equipment that allow me to produce these. How would you rate my level of eye contact with you there as I read the script? Let me know in the comments below. It takes a little bit of practice when delivering a presentation via a teleprompter app, but it is well worth it when you get the hang of it. As mentioned before, this app has other applications of use. For example, you can put your phone with the app on it inside a teleprompter device, such as the Padcaster V2, and then use a different Apple device as a remote control. And I'll show you how to do this in the video right here. The free version of Prompt Plus allows you to prepare a script of up to about two minutes in duration. But if you want the ability to have unlimited length scripts, then you'll need to unlock the paid version which is only say 10 or 15 bucks. Well worth it if you ask me, because you'll come off so much more professional in your Zoom presentations with a Zoom teleprompter. Watch this video next, which shows you how to use the same app on Mac while simultaneously using Zoom. I cover more info on script preparation and the app controls. I'll see you there.